like 758. No, I'm kidding. Burr, <sighs> it's cold and I want to start on my camper. It's been so cold, I haven't had time to start on it. So I'm fixing to uh, turn on the propane tanks and uh, get some heat going so we can start on this project of this camper today. Keep watching. Today is demo day. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. It is 26 degrees in here. Ooh, uh, got to turn on the heat. Cool, high. Oh, it's so cold you can't even read the, 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 the thermostat is uh, like really faded. It's like it's not working there. So, got to see where I'm at. Oh, I just went past it. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, so cold. There, the heat is on. And I'm on to, it's so called the LCD lights are not working. All right, I'm gonna turn it up to like 65. Let me get it heated up in here. Then we'll go get dressed and then I'm gonna come back out here and get started. Ready to start demo day. It's been really cold here in Alabama. Um, since we've got back from our trip, I haven't even had the chance to start doing this project of tearing everything out and getting everything ready for the remodel. Today, it's supposed to be sunny, but it's still not gonna be like a bit in the 40s. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go turn the heat on on the camper and then just heat it up and I'm just gonna work in it today because it's not raining, because it has been raining. <laughs> Turned on the propane tank, got the heat going. <laughs> Five minutes later, the propane tank ran out. Had to swap propane tanks, couldn't get the heater to come back on, because you know, once the heat gets to the gas, it runs out of gas and it has to swap back over. It sometimes can take a while to go back. So then I go try to turn on the fireplace, which starts giving me an 88 era code. If anybody knows why it does that, please let me know. Because when it's cold like this and I turn on the fireplace, it'll give me an 88 era code almost every time. It will not turn the heat on. But once we get the camper up warmer, it'll come on and stay on fine. I don't know. And we love our fireplace because it can keep this place really warm. Well, so that's where I'm at. So, uh, and then I came in here to record this video and Bill is doing, he's installing a golf simulator and he wanted to do a video on it, which it's gonna be a whole series, but I am not gonna post it on my Tuesdays or my Fridays. It's just gonna be an extra series that I'm gonna put on the channel because I know we do a lot of RV and, and adventure stuff, but he wanted to do this and you know what? He decided he wanted to record a video, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let him do it. So my SD card was full, so I had to go dump the SD card. So it's just been a long morning to get ready to get to this point to start tearing out. I can't wait. So I wanted to read, I had put up this wallpaper and redid the balances and everything when we first got the camera three years ago. And just this year, the wallpaper started wanting to peel down and not wanting to stay up. And I really wanted to do the wood plank look. And when I say I wanted to do the wood plank look, I wanted the real stuff. I didn't want to put wallpaper up again. So I researched and done a lot of research. And I'll tell you more about this in the next video, but I got this cool wood from a company. It's got this peel and stick, so it sticks to the wall. And I think that it is so pretty. It's reclaimed wood. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, that's gonna be the next video where I'll tell you more about this. But if you're not already subscribed, you need to, so you can learn about this new wood product that I found. And also, hit that bell notification so it lets you know when I upload that video. I really, I have like, a direction I'm going with the camper, but I don't have like an end vision. Everything has just kind of been going, and like I know things that I want to do, or I think I want to do, but I really, until I get this clean slate and tear everything out and see how it's coming along, 
I don't know exactly what I want. Now, I researched blinds a lot for this space because I had seen several other blind companies and everything, and the blinds that I wanted, I mean, I was going to be spending five and six hundred dollars. And I'm like, you know, I just can't spend that on blinds. I wanted blackout shades and I wanted them to be fabric. Those were two things that I knew I wanted. I ended up going to select blinds and I ordered this sample to make sure it was the color that I wanted and it feels great. And I got these for $300. Now, you could have gotten them cheaper, but I opted and I'll show you when I get them in because they're ordered and of course, obviously with the snow and everything, everything is running so far behind. But I ended up getting like the little balance that comes with them, the fabric covered balance, because that's what I liked. And this company had the cheapest of that. Now, that being said, they did not have as a good of a fabric selection as the other ones. I thought this was pretty. And you know what I think I'm gonna end up trying to do and we'll see later on. The, the original blinds that I wanted, it, they were gray like this, the exact same gray, but they had like a white pattern on top. I may get a stencil and lay these out and just take like a light brush and kind of do like a pattern on there myself because this is fabric. So I could just use some fabric paint and brush it on. And I think it would look good that it wouldn't be solid that color. It'd be kind of muted because I'm really going with like a barn wood, farmhouse look for my bedroom. Um, the other things that I'm not sure about is I do know I want some shelves of some sort. And I want that because Bill wants to put his coffee up there. That's the only reason that I need a shelf, but I don't want the shelf down low. We want it up higher so that he's not sleeping on it like this, because you know, we're putting in a king size bed and I totally haven't got which mattress I'm going with yet. I think I know, but that's another expense. Oh my gosh, I want a memory foam mattress and they are so expensive for a king size. Another thing about the blinds, the reason I went with the select blinds is these are little small blinds and the other companies were gonna have cords on them and I wanted cordless because who wants to wake up in the middle of the night with a cord wrapped around your neck? I really didn't think it needed to be, but select blinds, I could order from them and this is not sponsored without a cord because I feel like being next to the bed, they don't need to be a cord because you're sleeping there and tossing and turning and I could just see that becoming a bad thing. So that was another reason I went with select blinds is they were the cheapest and they had the cordless blinds that I want because I need two blinds for here and then I have another window that's over behind the camera. All right, it's time to rip this baby out and get get demo started. Let's go. This was our attempt at making this bed work better. And it really has worked its purpose. I feel like it's done pretty good. When you are ordering a new mattress for your camper, you want to make sure you measure this because this is a slide out that comes in and this goes all the way up against this. So I don't want to do anything longer than this one that's already here. And the one that's here is like 79 and a half inches, 80, uh, it's really 80 inches on the bottom. I don't want to order a mattress more than 80 inches in length. And then once I get these side pieces out, I'll measure that so that I know, because you wouldn't think that mattresses come in tons of different sizes. A king doesn't just mean a king anymore. Don't even know your name. 
I have the mattress and stuff out, I just wanted to kind of talk to you a few things. Whew, I'm out of breath. That headboard, I originally was going to put it back up. So here is where I have plans, but they're flexible. Because once I saw how pretty the wood was, I don't know. Whew, I'm echoing in here now. I don't know that I want to put that back up. Then I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to save it. I don't know. I'm going to wait until I get a lot of the stuff back up and then decide if I'm going to put that back up. But I'm going to save that for right now. So I'm going to go unscrew it. It's easy to do. It had little buttons that popped over the screw heads that I liked the way the screw heads looked without the buttons when I put it back up so I didn't put them back on so if you're wanting to remove your headboard most likely there's little buttons you can just pop right off and then it just screws right off I think I've waited all these years for you right here but how will I ever know if you go see that is super easy so if you want to recover this headboard that's already in your camper, that's like the best way. It is super easy. And I'm going to go keep this. And again, wallpaper is easy to pull down. So if you end up not liking whatever you do, you can take it off without it your walls. All right. <laughs> These were just put up with tension rods. Oh, and we're in there. Good. I'm sticking a lot of stuff just in the closet to get it out of the way. I, saw you from across the room. I don't see me reusing these balances again, but I'm going to keep them until my project's over just to make sure. Not keeping the blinds. Down. Uh, I had to put something on there. <laughs> it won't stay down. Oh gosh. I'm gonna get something to put on there. I guess I put my hammer and stuff. We'll see. Now I want to get these off and see what's behind there. I think from what I saw that if you pry on these, you can pry them up. But I don't know. We're gonna borrow that. There! Just take this and it is popping right on up. I know a lot of people ask how these are on and it's actually just stuck in there but it has this one random screw that there's no way to get to I guess if you wanted to beat this apart and then screw it out um it left like a little spot there but I'll uh, I'll sand it down push it in and then my wood will go over the top of it that came out easier than I thought Hard 
order it. The other one was so easy. I was just really careful with those because I want to save those, but this part, eh, I really don't care about saving. Oh, there's a screw right there. Ha ha! Found another screw down here. It looked like a knot in the wood. Uh, I don't know that I like this thing is not wanting to stay down. I think I've waited. Uh, I'm almost there. This one. That one's gonna be harder because the screw is like there. Now I can get that out. One out, one to go. Ah, forgot to move y'all with me. <laughs> there, they are both out. That wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. <sighs> so, all right, let me go throw this stuff away and uh, See what we're gonna do next. Cause this keeps popping up. I had to go get the a weight from Bill's truck. <laughs> All right. Oh, see that won't work. 72 by 80 mattress. All right. I'm gonna go take all this little trim off because I gotta get this totally ready so that I can put up my new wood. mode and everything ready my next thing that I'm gonna be doing is putting up the wood that I got and that will be on the next video in this series we are going obviously today was demo day the next video is gonna be me putting up all the wood because I need to get all that up I'm gonna show you how I put up my blinds I'm gonna show you how I alter this frame for putting the bed the mattress on also, we are going to change out these lights for uh, some other lights. I see a lot of people talking about and wanting to know how to do that. And I'd like to know how to do that too. So we're going to learn together. I have it down to a few different styles of little lights that I want to put there that hang down and have the push button. But that's what I want to do up there. See, I have a few other little ideas that I think I want to do, but I want to get everything done before I do that. I want to know what's behind this back piece of plywood. I'm fixing to check that out. There's just like two little bitty wires in there. And then there's this, so I don't know why that's... Hmm. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm gonna put that screw back. I don't need a ton of extra storage, but if you did... Oh my gosh, that whole area back there, there's literally two wires that are running through that whole area. There is nothing else under there. You could literally open this up more, but that is way more than a project that I want to do. But for you to know what's up underneath there in a 337, nothing. Gosh, that could be so much more storage. Well, all right then. I 
hope that you've enjoyed watching me get this demoed and remember hit that subscribe button if you want to see this project all finished. Till next time, like and subscribe.